Okay, so comfortable seated position on the mat then, guys. Oh, let's straighten it up this morning. There could be quite a lot of stretching going on this morning as well after our walk. So comfortable seated position here on the mat. Release the glutes away from the sit bones. And just find some stillness sitting here first thing in the morning. Maybe this isn't first thing in the morning for you. But let's just relax the wrists down on top of the knees. Breathing out, relax the knees down towards the mat. And let's just find some stillness. So just tilt the chin slightly under. And so we've got a nice straight line coming up out of the back of the head. And just relax. So just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Find the natural rhythm of the breathing. And just relax down into the floor. We've got plenty of time for waking the body up. Let's just find a little bit of stillness here on the mat. So on Friday morning, I spoke a little bit about intentions again, intentions being like mini goals for your practice, uh, for your workout or for the rest of the day. So I'd just like you to take a second to think about what your intention is for today. So a good way to begin that statement is with something like I am. So I am working on my flexibility. I am working on my strength. Or I am working on decluttering is mine today. So uh, no prizes for guessing what I'm spending my day doing. So let's just think about your intention. Think about what it is. And on the next three in breaths, I'd like you to repeat it to yourself. And we're just going to take some shoulder shrugs in time with the breathing. So practice working with the body and the breath. Line them up as one. Breathing in, shoulders up. Breathing out, relax them down to the floor. So on the in-breath, you're coming up. On the out-breath, moving down. Go with your rhythm of the breathing, not with mine. Breathing out. We're going to extend this out towards the arms. So taking the hands around, we're going to sweep them in to come up. And on the out breath, we're just going to lower them down. So breathing in, sweep them up. Relax the shoulders down to the floor. Breathing out. So all the while, you're just keeping your knees relaxed down towards the floor. Relax the shoulders, work the body in time with the breath. Really inhabit the space in your arms all the way down to the fingers. Feel the air resistance as well as they're moving through space. And relax them down to the side. So we're going to take the first of this morning's stretches this morning. We're just going to do a seated forward fold. So just take both feet out to the front. And again, you might need to adjust your sit bones here to find a comfortable spot on the floor. You can do this with a micro bend in the knee. They don't have to be straight out on the floor. And we're going to sweep the hands out to the side one more time. Sweep it up, find some length, pull up out of the pelvis before we fold it over down onto the top of the legs. So some days this may feel different. You might feel tighter than others. And just use the weight of the head to relax down into the floor. Also, this is the first leg stretch of the morning. So don't be alarmed if you need a little bit more time to warm up, to loosen up the muscles. Let them relax. And breathe it out.
And on the next out breath, I'd like you to see if you can take that stretch a little bit further. So you might like to apply a little bit of light pressure through the hands and just see if you can pull the, the chest down a little bit further towards the top of the legs. And just walk the hands slowly back up the legs. And let's take a forward fold in that straddle as well. So just take your legs out to the sides. Um, how far they go is dependent on lots of things, like we've said before. A lot of it is to do with how your um, leg connects into your hip like that. So don't be worried if you can't get a lot of space here. We're going to take a deep breath in. Really reach up and out of the pelvis first before we lower down and just fold it forward down into the space between the legs. And just have a little check of your feet. Just make sure they haven't flopped inwards. Toes pointed out to the side. Relax the head down to the floor. And walk your hands a little bit further away from the body. See if you can get a little bit more in that hip stretch this morning. And just relax. Again, on the out breath, you might find you can get a little bit further into that pose. A little bit more further, a little bit further closer to the floor. Breathe it out. And just walk the hands closer into the body. Walk it back up. Take a deep breath in. Take your hands to your temples this time. And we're going to take a side bend in this position. So what I'd like you to look out for is that we are side bending, not folding over and tipping towards the knee, okay? So it is a side bend, tipping over at the side. You might find you don't get very far. This is fine. So breathe in to prepare, breathe in out, and just side bend over to the right. So just tip that right elbow down towards the floor. We're going to breathe in to come up. And breathe it out to go down. Breathing in to come up. We're going to take a couple more. Breathing out to go down. So again, notice the rhythm of the breathing. Find a rhythm that is good for you and stick to it. So just work in the side waist. You'll need to engage your core as well as you tip over. Do one more either side. And then join me back in neutral position. Back to neutral. Relax the hands down to the floor. And we're going to take one more floor stretch before moving into our standing poses. So I'd like you to press the soles of your feet together. They don't need to be really close to the body. Just we're going for a triangle pose, okay? So we've got lots of space between the feet and your pelvis. Sit up nice and tall again. We're going to breathe in to come up, reach out first. And then just forward fold, breathe it out over the feet. So you can rest your hands down on your feet. Or you might like to take your forearms across the top of your shins. And just relax the head down towards the floor, opening out through the hips. And you might like to apply a little bit of light pressure through the hands. See if you can pull your head a little bit closer towards the feet. So this should feel a bit more comfortable as well than if you had your feet really close to the pelvis. But find a position that's right for you, that feels good. And on an out breath, I'd just like you to get a little bit more in that forward fold. Breathe it out. And then slowly coming up. Just Let's just walk the hands back into the body. Let's twist the feet round to the side and just join me in your tabletop this morning. We're going to take a leg stretch here. So we're going to work from our balance. Now, this leg stretch might not be for everyone. If it's not for you, that's fine. Just leave your leg extended out to the back. 
So find your balance in your tabletop, first of all. We've got a nice straight arm, shoulder to wrist, and a nice straight leg, hip to knee. Release the right foot off the floor, coming into your balance. And let's then, when you're happy with your balance there, release the left arm off the floor. You can stay here if this is good for you, but if you wanna go for the leg stretch, we're gonna bend that knee, press the sole of the foot up to the sky, reaching round with your left hand, taking hold of that foot and squeeze it into the body. So we're opening up through the chest and the hip and the leg. What a lovely stretch, eh? What a way to start your Sunday morning. And keep holding here, hold, hold, hold. And then release the foot, relax the hand out to the front. So we've got a nice straight line, straight like a dart, and relax the hand and the foot down to the floor. You might need to adjust your tabletop position so you've got a good base. I love John's face there in that stretch. It was particularly amusing. <laughs> and let's take the left foot off the floor, first of all. Take it out behind you. This might be as far as you want to go. Press the top of the foot down into the floor. Release the right hand. And you might like to stay in this balance here so we've got a nice straight line. If you want to go for the stretch, let's take that left sole of the foot up to the ceiling then we're going to reach all the way around with the right foot and squeeze that foot in nice leg stretch this morning open up through the chest keep breathing try and relax the face and breathe breathe it out hold 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 your body should relax into the stretch and let's release the hand and the foot, take them out straight like a dart. Really reach out to the front of the mat and breathe in out, take the hand down to the floor. So we're gonna do our leg repeats that we normally do in downward dog. We're gonna do them in a kneeling position here this morning because I thought I'd try and be a bit more chilled out than relaxed. So we're gonna breathe in to prepare. We're gonna release the right leg out behind. We're going to bring it through knee to chest, nice and slow. Really press the spine up to the ceiling. This is one. Then take it out behind you, nice and slow. Find the balance, feel the stability. Bring it through knee to chest. We're going to take it again. Take it out behind you, nice and straight. Bring it through knee to chest. Press the spine up towards the ceiling. Press the hands down into the floor. And I just like you to place that foot down on the floor. So right hand right next to that right foot. And we're in our kneeling lunge. So we're going to work the legs a bit this morning in our wave. So I'd like you to breathe in. Just moving through the stretch. Lift the gaze up. Press the chest towards the front of the room. And we're just going to walk the hands back. So just walk it back. Wherever you are, you don't need to get all the way down to the floor. We're just mobilizing the knee, mobilizing the hip. Breathing in to come up, walk it up. And just press into that front leg, shine the heart forward, lift your gaze. So we're just gently working the leg and the hip. Flex the foot if you can. And bring it all the way back up. One more time, press the chest out to the front and relax into your lunge position. So in your lunge, your feet should be facing forward. Make sure you've got a nice connection with the knee on the floor because we're gonna come up to crescent. So just wave the hands all the way up. And this is just a little variation of your standing crescent. You can do this standing or kneeling. This is totally up to you. So just relax the shoulders down into the back. Reach up nice and high and ground down through that front foot. Then we're going to take our hands down behind your back and just take hold of them just at the base of the lower spine. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, looking up. And if you can, release your hands away from the lower back. So just lift them up slightly so you should feel this through your shoulders. And breathe. 
Uh, let's hold here. So you might like to send some breath to your shoulders. You might feel this in your hip. Send some breath down to the hip. And relax the hands, swing them all the way up. Lift the gaze right up to the ceiling so we are taking a very small back bend here. And then on the out breath, cascade the hands down to the floor. And we're just gonna replace that leg, however's good for you, back to your tabletop. Pressing it back through to child's pose. So press the big toes together, walk the knees out to the sides of the mat and press the hips back and through, walking the hands a little bit further up towards the top of the mat. Lovely stuff. And relax the forehead down into the floor. Walk the hands a little bit further up. And breathe. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. If at any point this type of breathing doesn't feel comfortable for you, Please feel free to breathe however is best. And relax. So we're just going to lift the gaze to the top of the mat, walk the hands back into the body. Let's set up our tabletop again. So spread the fingers out nice and wide. You should be able to wiggle the fingers as well. You shouldn't have all of the weight in the fingertips. So we're gonna stack the, the shoulder above the wrist, the hip is above the knee, and we're gonna repeat the same sequence on the other side. So taking your left foot out behind you, stretch it out, press down through the hands. We're gonna bring it through knee to chest. One, press the spine up and away. Take it back out behind you, nice straight line. Bring it through knee to chest, two. Press down through the hands, take it at the leg out behind you. This is the last one. We're gonna hold it for a beat. Squeeze the knee into the chest, press the spine up to the ceiling. And we're just gonna replace that foot at the top of the mat. Remember you're staying in your lunge this morning. So feel free to modify your stance at any point. We're gonna walk the hands forward, stretching out the hip, working the hips. So shine the heart forward, lift the gaze up. Breathing out, just walk the hands back however you far you want to go. You might get this far. If this is as far as you're going, that's cool. Then breathe it in. Lift the gaze. Open out that front hip. Walk the hands back however far you want to go. You want to go, might want to go all the way back here. You might just get as far as here. This might be your range of movement. If this is your range of movement, go for it. Work it. So we're gonna do one more. And then join me in your forward position. And breathe. So let's check we're in a good position to lift the hands up off the floor here. So you want your knee and your foot facing the same way. Then we're gonna sweep the hands all the way back up and through into crest. So lift the gaze, relax the shoulders away from the ears and really reach up out of that spine. Lovely, and breathe. Breathing out, sweeping the hands round behind to the lower back. We're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together, open out the chest. You might find you might like to bend a little bit further into that front knee. And see if you can lift the hands away from the lower back. So you're really opening out the front of the chest. And keep breathing, relax the face, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe a little bit more into that hip. And then sweeping the hands all the way back up, lift the gaze, take a small back bend here at the top, really reach up and out. And then on the out breath, we're gonna cascade the hands all the way back down to the floor, back to your lunge, wherever you are. And just replace that foot. If you need to move the hands, that's fine. And we're going back through to child. So big toes together. We're going to press the, the pelvis back, walking the hands up the mat and relax it down into the floor. And breathe it out. Uh, 
uh, relax. With every out-breath, just imagine everything flowing out of the top of your head down into the floor. Let it all go. Then lift the gaze. We're going to move back into tabletop, and we're going to take a side bend here. So I'm going to move around so you can see where I am, but you guys can stay where you are. So I'd just like you to walk the hands back into the body, and we're going to come up to a kneeling position. So take your right leg out to the side. You can either be on the side of your foot or you can press that foot down into the floor. So let's all get in that position first. We good to go. Breathe it in, take the hands up to about 10 to two. And then I just like you to tip it over towards the right hand side, over to the leg. So really feel the stretch down the left hand side of the body. Just make sure you haven't curled over as well. Find the space between your head and your arm there. And we're just going to lift it back up and relax it down. We're going to take one more round. So move with the breath, breathing in to come up. Ten to two, then on the out breath, tip it over. Very coordinated this morning, everyone. Well done. Coming up to prepare, breathing out. And we're just going to swap it over to the other side. So just replace the other knee down. You might, I don't expect everyone to do this in one move. This is fine. So we're going to do the left side now. So just take the left leg out to the side. Again, you can either be on the side of the foot or you can put the sole of the foot down, wherever feels good. Find your edge. We're going to breathe in to come up. Ten to two, slide the shoulders down towards the floor, breathing out, tip it over towards that left foot. And again, just make sure you've got some space between the, between the head and the arm. You haven't tipped it over here. No arms in front of faces. And just breathe. Breathing in to come up. Breathing out, sweep the hands down. We're going to do one more. Okay, so roll the shoulders back. We're going to breathe in to come up. Slide the shoulders to the floor and breathing out, tip it over to the side. And relax. So feel the stretch in the hip and feel the stretch down the side of the waist. Breathing in to come up, breathing out to come down and just replace that knee. So we're going to move into camel. So this can be quite a strong back bend. And if you haven't done this before with me, I'm going to give you a modification. So I'm going to move around again so you can see. So let's all start with the base move, first of all. So I'd like you to tuck your toes under. And first of all, let's, so our base move, I'd just like you to put your hands on your lower back with the, with the fingertips facing down. And you're just going to lean it back a little way. So just take it to your edge. Take it as far as you can go. You might need to spread your feet out and just lift the gaze up to the ceiling. You don't need to drop your head all the way down to the back. Just take the gaze to the ceiling so you've got a nice, you're not compressing the top of the spine. And breathe. So squeeze the shoulder blades together again here. Squeeze the elbows together. And then just relax out to the back bend. So we're going to do a couple of rounds in camel. So that might be as far as you want to go this morning, in which case just carry on with that move. But if you would like to take it a little bit further, we're going to take the hands all the way up. Reach up and out. Take the gaze to the ceiling. And then you're going to lower your right hand down to your right heel. So you're reaching back, keeping the gaze at the fingertips on the left hand, so you're not compressing your spine. So you might be able to get your hand all the way back to your ankle, or you might be tickling it with your fingers. And then we're gonna lift the hand all the way back up. So we're gonna drop to the other side, okay? So work with the breath again. Don't forget to breathe in this move. We're gonna take the left hand down, Sweep it all the way down to the top of the left ankle, keeping the gaze fixed on the fingertips on the right hand. Breathe. So we're taking a lovely back bend here this morning. 
And lift it up. Take that hand back through centre. We're going to do one more each side. So lift the gaze to the fingertips. Then we're going to take that hand all the way round, back, just to the top of the right ankle. And hold. So gaze is at the ceiling, at the fingertips of the left hand. Sweep the hand back up through centre. And we're going to do the last one on the other side. So sweeping that left hand round to the left ankle. Gaze to the fingertips on the right hand. Lift up and out of those hips. Press the hips forward to the front of the room. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. So coming back through center, bring it all the way up, take a small back bend here, and then we're going to lower the hands all the way back down to the floor. Moving back through tabletop, we're going to move back through child's to stretch our back out the other way. So big toes together, walk the knees out to the side, and just relax the pelvis down to the floor, walking the hands up to the top of the mat, and relax the head down. And breathe. So when we've, we've done some back bends, it's really good to stretch the spine out the other way. And just relax the pelvis down on top of the heels. Then we're going to lift the gaze, walk the hands up, back towards the body. Cross the ankles over. We're going to take it back up and through. And I'd just like you to scoot a little way down the mat. We're going to come to a bridge pose. So let's roll it down. So just tuck the shoulder blades under the back as if they're in invisible pockets on the floor. What we're going to do is a pelvic lift here. So if you just want to take the lift off the floor, just keep your hands, palms facing down on the floor, and you're going to press down through the feet and lift. So... That might be your option. This is option number one. You're just going to press and lift. If you're looking for a bit more, we're going to come into a full bridge. So we're going to press down through the soles of the feet to lift the pelvis up off the floor. Let's all go there. So hips to the ceiling. Then we're going to walk the shoulder blades closer together and clasp the hands at behind our backs, which should give you a bit more lift. You should be balancing on the shoulders and really press the hips up to the ceiling. So when we're in this position, just check on your knees that they haven't dipped in or they haven't folded out to the sides. Bring them back in line so they're pointing the same way as your toes. So they're in line with your toes, they're in line with your ankles, knees and hips. Press up to the ceiling. Keep it lifted, press it up. Release the hands back to the floor and we're going to lower down vertebra by vertebra, nice and slow back to the floor. Pelvis comes last. Really take it a little bit at a time and relax it down to the floor. So again, you might need to release the shoulders. We're going to do one more move. This is your final move of the morning and we're going to come to a little bit of relaxation. So... We're just going to take your right foot up into the sky, first of all, bringing your shoulders off the floor. This is our prep for the move. And I'd just like you to hug it in towards you, either above or below the knee this morning. So just hug it in. Either above or below the knee. And just enjoy the stretch. We're going to release it down to the floor. We're going to take the other side. So this is our prep for our next move. So either above or below the knee, squeeze it in. And on the out breath, see if you can get a little bit more in that stretch. And breathe out, relax the feet down to the floor. So we're going to take both, both feet off the floor now. We're going to come into happy baby. So let's take both of your feet up. So you want a nice gap between your legs here. So they're both pointing up, and I'd like you to take your hands through the middle 
and pull your knees towards your outside of your armpits. And if you can, take hold of the outside of your feet. We think everyone's got kids here. Happy baby, you'll be familiar with this. And just take hold of the outside of your feet here. John, are you okay to set up? Do you know where we're going? Yes. And just apply a little bit of light pressure on the feet. Pull in the knees a little bit closer to the outsides of your armpits. Really opening up through the hips. And if you like, you can take a little rock here as well. Just massage the lower spine. Just rock. And just relax into the pose. Relax the legs out to the sides. Apply a little bit of pressure through the soles of the feet. Use your hands. Pull the knees in a little bit closer to the, to the outside of the armpits. And let's relax the feet down to the floor. Take one leg out first, then we're going to take the other leg and relax it down into your final resting pose this morning. Well done, you made it. So let's release the shoulder blades under the lower back. Tuck them in as if they're in pockets so you've got a nice flat surface on your back to be lying on the floor. It's a lot more comfortable than laying down on the pointy bits of your shoulders. Relax the toes out to the sides of the mat. And I'd like you to relax the hands out to the sides as well. So palms facing upwards. And take a nice deep breath out and relax down. With every out breath now, I'd like you to imagine you're melting further down into the floor. Let the body relax. We've done lots of stretches this morning. As well as being here for relaxation, this pose is to allow your ligaments to all cool down in the right shape. And relax. And I'd like you this morning to imagine you're not in your house anymore. You're lying in, this, in a stream. It's a very shallow stream. You're lying on the riverbed. And you can feel the water washing over you. From your head, you can feel it moving down all the way along the body, down towards the toes. Feel the water on your skin moving all the way down from the head, down past the shoulders, down past your elbows and your hands. Feel it trickling over your fingertips, down over your pelvis, over the tops of your knees over your ankles and between your toes. Feel it rushing round the toes. So notice if the water is hot or warm or if it's cold, maybe it's refreshing and it's cold or maybe it's relaxing and it's warm. Just feel the water gently washing over you from the top all the way down to the bottom. And as it moves from the top of the body down to the bottom, just feel the gentle emptying of any worries, anything that's making you anxious, running away with the water. Just feel it wash over you from the top down to the bottom, emptying away, carried away with the rest of the river. And just listen for the gentle noise of the water around you, lapping over the rocks and the grass. And listen for what you can hear around you. Listen for the sounds in nature.
Listen for the animals, listen for the wind, listen for the trees. As you gently allow everything to be washed away with the river, flowing over you, down over your head, over the body and out through the toes. And just notice any sensations in the body. If any thoughts spring to mind, just notice what they are, acknowledge them, and return to the visualization of the river. Just return to the feeling of the water and the sound of the breeze. And very slowly, I'd just like you to return to the physical sensation of your body here in space, here on the mat. Just wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Rub the fingertips on the palms of the hands. Just wake up gently. Feel the mat underneath you. Bring the sensation back through to the body. Wiggle the toes. Pay attention to the skin. Is it rough? Is it smooth or hot or cold? And then when you're ready, just come over to your side and bring it back to your comfortable seated position in your own time. So just notice the pace of your breathing. Just relax the hands down on top of the knees. And I'd just like you to return to your intention that you've set at the beginning. I am. What are you going to do today? I am. And just think about it. And breathe it in. On the next in-breath, we're going to take the hands out to the side, sweep it up. We're going to gather that energy from the practice, that energy for that intention, that relaxation. Reach up out of the pelvis and imagine it's floating just above your head, that intention, that energy from the session this morning. And I'd like you to gather it all into your body. Pull the hands together, gather it in, bring it back to yourself and pull it down, pressing the palms together and take it with you for the whole rest of the day. 
Thank you very much for practicing with me this morning, everyone. It's been lovely. Um, I hope nothing else is going to ruin your super chilled mood now for the rest of the day. <laughs> and don't forget, if you need to top up, um, there's loads of stuff online, but John will be back for boot camp on Monday and I'll be back for a little yoga top up Tuesday evening.